evening, everyone, and welcome to Your Time to Shine, a radio show designed to help you explore your own divine gifts. I hope this evening finds you all very well and that you are enjoying January. We are almost all the way through January already. It feels like it's been just a blur. Um, at least for me, it has been. <laughs> I don't know how you're all feeling out there. But have you noticed that the energy is a little bit calmer? I mean, there's been days, trust me, um, that have been a little bit more intense than others. But it is so different than some of the energies that we've been feeling in the last six, nine months, even up to a year. So hopefully you're all feeling a little bit of a breather and can take a deep breath. Um, I know we're in the middle of retrograde, but still it feels a little bit easier, um, a little bit more like we can breathe, which <laughs> is really fantastic. <laughs> so I was having a conversation today with a friend of mine and we were talking about um, manifesting and you know, bringing things in, um, into the realm of reality. And she is just beginning her spiritual journey. And she was so excited and she goes, Oh, you know, have you heard, did you know that when you are looking at, you know, manifesting or bringing in what it is that you would like to have in your life, that it's really about seeing what the end result is and then leaving it up to the universe to figure out kind of that in between, like how you get there. Like that's not really what we are supposed to do. And I said, yes, absolutely. <laughs> that's absolutely true. So as humans though it's really hard to do that right you have you you have your idea of what it is that you would like to have and you want to be able to get to that goal you know what that end goal looks like you just don't know exactly how to get to that point or what that looks like and you know every time i look at this and I, I do manifestation or I'm bringing in what it is that I would like to have in my life. Every time I think I know how to get from point A where I'm starting to point B where it's, you know, where it's the end result is. And I think I know how to get there and how it's going to happen. It, invariably never happens that way. It's so interesting that you think you know what it is as a human. <laughs> you think you know how to get from point A to point B, but yet the universe and spirit says, ah, but I have a different approach. I have a better idea. And so, you know, there's a million ways you can get from point A to point B. But if you can let go of the reins and you can set the stage for this is where I am and this is where I would like to be. And then whatever happens in between, let the universe, let spirit take that over. And so you have to kind of sit back and let go of the reins. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't take inspired action, right? You don't you know, take steps to get from point A to point B, but it's just that you don't plan it all the way through expecting that particular way to be the way to do it. Because sometimes if we just let it happen, the universe has a much better idea uh, how to get there than we do. If we can just move out of our own way and let them do their job. And like I said, even for me, this is a hard one, right? I'm, I am very much a planner. I'm very much, you know, that's, that's who I am. That's my makeup, you know, going, okay, I've got this, 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 and this, and that's how I get to oh, the point B over here. And yeah, well, sometimes it hasn't always gone 
to plan uh, that way. And I've gone off on a detour a little bit and I think, wow, how did I get here? So if you can remember that, um, to be able to just let it be and let the universe take over and figure out how to fill in the blanks between that space, it will be a lot easier ride. Take it from me, <laughs> take it from my mistakes and my bumbling around. Um, that is much easier to do it that way. So put together what it is that you would like to do or have, and then put it into motion and let it go. Just let it all go and see where it takes you. All right. Fantastic. It was a great conversation that I had with my friend today. So um, I just had to share um, that little tidbit. Um, and hopefully that helps some of you out there who are asking some of the same questions. All right. We're going to go ahead and go to our phone lines right now. And we have Sharon in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Good evening, Sharon, and welcome to your time to shine. Hi. Hey, yes, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good. What can I help you with this evening? Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, do you read? Are you reading tarot cards, or are you just are you medium, or uh, what? I guess what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? How did I get here? Um, Yes, I am a medium. Um, and so, you know, I, if you don't have a specific question, I can just see what comes through. And um, then maybe that might spark a question for you. Okay. Well, I mean, I kind of do have a question, but I don't know if, it, okay. I, don't know if I should ask it or not. But, uh, but you said you do mainly medium stuff, though, right? I do, yes. Um, well, th this isn't necessarily a medium question. I mean, I've, I've dealt with mediums a lot, but th this isn't a medium question, so I don't know if I should ask it or not. Um, I guess this is more of um, going forward. Um, I was wanted to see if I was going to, I guess, reignite with somebody else, with somebody of the past. Ah, excellent relationship question. Yes, yes, um, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so let me tune in, Sharon, and see what I can find out for you. Um, there's going to be just a little bit of silence as I do that. So um, just hang on the line and I'll be right back. Okay. 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 Thank you. Interesting. Um, so when I first tuned in, Cheryl, they were most definitely showing me like a flame um, in the literal, literal sense um, that there is an there is an old flame. Have you been in contact with this person already? Because I feel like you guys have, have made contact or have been in contact recently. Mm, not since October. I'm sorry. Not since October. Okay. Oh, so but you but you did talk to him. You did talk to him recently. I mean, like, like in the last six months or a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not an old old thing. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so you've recently spoken to him, but I, I get the feeling that the two of you were in a relationship. Some time ago, though, is that a correct statement? Um, it was brief, and it was very weird because he's detached. Um, he's uh -huh. an Aquarius, like a business owner, and so it, it was it's a very strange relationship. Even how we met, the whole thing was insane. But I felt like um, maybe the timing wasn't right. I'm not sure what went on, but just something wasn't right. I don't know if it was him or what, but right. Yeah. So was this somebody that um, that came in, that you met, 
like early on um, in your adulthood? Like, no, no, no. I met him uh, two years ago. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. I'm feeling like he, you, the two of you met like, like in your thirties. Um, so I don't know if that was like a, a passing, like maybe you did pass your paths crossed, but didn't, um, you, you didn't realize it or you didn't come, nothing came of it, I guess. But I feel like that you guys have, have crossed paths or been, um, I don't, I, I can't even think of how they're showing, but, but, but they, like you've crossed paths before. Um, now, let me, let me say this, because there, sometimes I know spirits and, and things can get confused. There was a true love in my life that died when he was 30 years old. I, I'm 20 years older than him, but he's been dead since 2016 and I, or yeah, 2016 and I have talked to him mil- multiple times, you know, through his death. Uh, I mean, I, I really went through a lot when he died and things like that. But I don't know if that's what you're picking up or if you're picking up the other uh, person that I'm asking about. <laughs> okay. Okay. That makes sense. Um, that, w- that would make sense that I'm picking up, that I'm picking up on him. Um, okay. Let me see if there's, because obviously there's something that he needs to say. So um, hang on okay. just a moment. Um, he's telling me that this person is not the right person for you. Um, oh, I know he does not like him. I know he doesn't like him. Yeah. He just, he just, it was like the first words out of, you know, that came through were he's not the right person for her. And I'm like, okay. Um, that yes. Part of it is timing, but part of it is the compatibility of the two of you. Um, he is, he, he is a very, uh, an emotional type of person. Um, he's very quick to react, whereas you kind of take a step back and you take a look and see what it is that is you know, what is the real truth here? Right. Um, mm-hmm. it, it, they're almost showing me like he's a firecracker, right? Sometimes he reacts before he, before he really stops and thinks about what he's doing. Mm-hmm. And he's showing me that, that yes, opposites can attract, but that they're, you guys are like on the very opposite end of the spectrum. So, um, let's see what else he can tell me here. <laughs> well, what I've heard through a reading once was that he said that he put me in, that he put this guy on my path to take me off of the, the loss of his death, and he just wanted me to have fun with this guy, but he didn't know that he was a, he used the cuss word, and he said a blank psychopath (laughs) (laughs) yeah he's not giving me very good uh, images of this person to be honest um no but uh, this person is an aquarius okay and i'm a scorpio which i'm i I always have aquarius in my life but the reason why is because i have a libra moon and a libra rising so i always attract aquarius or they attract me whatever it is i don't know but um, the guy is really funny in a weird kind of way, and he's very masculine, which I like that. There's a lot of things I like about him, but he is very strange. I mean, everybody that I've talked to about him thinks he's very strange. I mean, like, detached. Yeah, yes. He, um, I'm being told, yeah, okay, fine, you know, have fun, go out and, you know, and have fun. But don't take it too seriously. Um, because oh, no, I, I know per- that with, with this. Yeah. Cause, <laughs> yeah. Because cause this person really isn't like the right, the right one for you right now. Um, but it is good in the sense that you can actually just kind of go out and have some fun. And 
you know, kick, kick up your heels and say, okay, we're going to go out and we're going to do this. And we're going to be, you know, have, have a good time. And, um, but he says, keep it very light, keep it very, um, you know, don't get too involved. He's almost saying you need to like detach from this um, because there's somebody <laughs> out there for you that this is not the right one. He's quite protective and, of uh, you. <laughs> oh, yes. He's a Leo. Um, he was the most wonderful, funny, hilarious thing. I mean, we really had... It's a crazy situation, what went on. It's too long of a thing. But there's another situation that come up with my real estate. Um, I just got my license, and I joined the firm, and I'm not sure. <sighs> I'm having trouble with the big in charge there because they're not good on communication. But um, okay. he's a luxury broker. Um, it's a very, it's, the, it's like the highest in brokerage we have in town, brokerage. Um, and I was not even going to sign on there. I, I retracted the offer. And the guy said, I'm not trying to talk you into it, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I signed on, and now I don't know what to do. Like, I, I'm what, because passing the test has nothing to do with being a real estate agent. I mean, as far as doing the job, you just pass the test because you have to, to get licensed. That's right. nothing to do with the training, you know, the training involved. And I don't know, I, I wanted to do it. I thought I wanted to do it. I've not even got started yet, and I feel like giving up. You know, it's one of those kind of things. Um, but there's a lot of money the, involved in, in starting up. Yeah, what they're what they're showing me is this is like a stepping stone. This is going to lead you to something else. So yes, this probably isn't like the right place for you. But what it's going to do is it's going to make you a connection of where you're supposed to go. Um, okay. What they're showing me is is this is. This time right now is about you kind of going through and kind of collecting your team, collecting your people, so to speak, um, to help you in, in, the, in the business of this. So um, it won't be a wasted effort. It may not be exactly where you want to land, uh, but it's going to help you get to the next level. I mean, you can't get any higher than this level, though, at this place. <laughs> well, this but, yeah, yeah, but it, this is going to show you where you need to go, because this okay. definitely isn't it for you. Um, okay. I, I think what you're going to find is this is very, it's very flashy, very showy, and so from the outside, mm -hmm. it feels like, oh yeah, this is really what I want to do. Oh. But for you, it's going to feel very fake. It's going to feel very unfulfilling, so to speak. But again, uh -huh. what this is going to do is this is going to transfer you to the place where you should be. Because it's going to put you in contact with other people that are like-minded like you. Okay. And that's where you're, that's where you're going to flourish. That's where you're going to really shine. A week more that is wasting time or whatever, you know? You know, yeah, I get that. And sometimes, you know, sometimes we take positions um, that seem like they're going to be a good fit, a good idea. But it's more about the people that you meet in that situation. And so mm -hmm. you, have, you have to look at it from that perspective. Okay. This isn't going to be a very long-term thing. This is going to be a very short-lived job for you. Um, so just know that. Okay. Yeah, they're showing me that you need something that's more um, grounding. Uh, that... I guess it's just more meaningful to you. And they're saying, try to remember, you're going to do better when it means something to you rather than looking at like the dollar signs or what it looks like from the outside. Because believe it or not, you're going to go a lot farther if you really love what you do and it really comes from the heart. That's where you're going to thrive and make your money. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 
uh, oh, yes, this person's birthday I was, that I was talking to you about that, that my friend Michael hates. <laughs> It's on the other yes. side. Um, yes. <laughs> my Leo. Um, anyway, um, so his birthday is February 1st. So should I wish him a happy birthday on that day? Should I contact him? Um, this other, the other person that you're talking about, the um, the Aquarius? <laughs> yes, <laughs> the Aquarius. Um. You know, he's saying you have to follow your heart. Why would you be, okay. why would you reach out to him? You have to ask yourself that. And if the answer oh, is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? So your heart has to be in the right place to be able to do that. And if it doesn't okay. feel right, then don't do it. Okay. It almost it almost feels like um, like I'm feeling this almost nagging like uh, I don't know I don't know if I really want to do that kind of thing. So hmm. so I don't know if that's how you're feeling is like it's almost like it's out of well, obli yeah. obligation. No, not at all. Um, it, it, it's okay. because that he, he's such an ass that, um, now, and I know, I don't know who's all listening, but most air signs are ghosters. I mean, they're not good on the phones. They don't, I've got a girlfriend that are Aquarius, and they don't even know where the phone is. It's not charged. They contact you two days later. They're terrible. I don't know what it is. And he's one of those ones that does that, too. Now, I know he owns two businesses, and he's busy, and this and that. But, right. um he, he's not a good, he's only a good communicator, communicator when he, everything's got to be on his time. Everything. I mean, everything. Right. It's, because he right. thinks, it's because he thinks he's a king because he has these businesses and money and whatever. And, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, it doesn't, he likes to control, he loves to control people. I imagine he treats his workers very terribly. I have no idea. But... <laughs> Yeah, and it's because it, that's where that's where he gets his uh, fame and uh, I am going to say ego boost. If he can't control right. somebody from a distance, like I, I live thirty minutes from him at least, and he he needs to get his control from somebody anywhere, but right there, right then at that moment, you know, that makes his fame. Mm -hmm. So if he can control these people, make him feel lower than him or whatever, then he's good. As long as he's the king, that's that's right. how I think he thinks. I may be yeah. wrong. Yeah, I, I guess that's why I was kind of getting that kind of icky feeling like it was almost out of obligation, right? And so that's why you kind of need to... I just feel like, I feel like he, he probably won't respond to it because he does this, uh, he'll do, I don't know, it's just whatever his uh, mood he's in, then he may, he may contact or he may not. Mm -hmm. I don't like people that do that. It's very, I don't yeah. care if it's a man or a woman or what. I don't like any of that ghosting stuff. And that's where I'm having the trouble with the, the big in charge at the real estate. He said that well, he's a Libra too. He does the same thing, and he's in charge of all of us, and he doesn't communicate at all. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, don't I don't like yeah. the ghosting thing. Right, right. And I think that's. I, I keep hearing the word boundaries. Um, so it's about you kind of putting together what your boundaries are for people, right? So you've just said, I don't like people who ghost me, right? So it's about figuring out what your boundary is with this person and then sticking to it, right? Because it almost feels like there's this, when, when you're around him, they're showing me like there's this powerlessness. It's like he, he sucks your power or takes away your power, your personal power. Um, and so that's why I'm, I'm getting these messages of boundaries, boundaries, you know, what are your boundaries, right? So by talking you know to him. You know why you're getting the boundaries? Back? Because I let him do everything and anything. The one, Michael, anything, his, his mom even gave me a book about setting boundaries for me to read because yeah. I have no boundaries with hardly anyone. Uh, I, 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 um, 
have a problem. I'm a, I have a Libra root moon and rising, so I have a problem with, like you said, sitting back and not judging, just waiting to see. Let me see if that's right. I, and before I make a decision, I don't want to call somebody out on something before I really know the facts. Sure. And um, but I am, a, but I'm a Scorpio at the same time, so I like the truth. But nothing but the truth. And right. um, I don't know. It's just, it's very mm-hmm. hard. Uh, and I think most people know I'm honest and truthful. That's one thing. They've never caught me. Nobody's ever caught me at a lie or a story. I don't do that. I don't. And so one reason why I would not ever be a ghoster is because I don't want to look bad. My, it's my character. That's all I have on the line. Is And you show that in your in your action. Well, this one person that's ghosting the, the, the real estate office, I don't even think he's really aware that he does this because he's Real nice and proper, and he's like 65 years old. He doesn't even know what ghosting means. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But, there's, but, yeah, there's definitely a communication thing there, and there might be a little bit of a generational gap as well. Um, but, Sharon, we're coming down to the last few seconds of our show, so I am going to have to say good night. But I want to say thank you so much for joining me this evening. And hope this has been helpful for you. you. Yes, thank you so much. You are so welcome. Happy Thursday. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, that does it for me, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in this evening. Um, If you have any questions at all, would you like to book a session or maybe even a group reading? You can reach out to me on my Facebook page at www.wingsofsoulswithjulie.com or my two Facebook pages, Your Time to Shine and Julie Yeager Walker Medium. I hope you all have a fantastic evening and we will see you again next week.